Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Well, we're still recovering from the snowpocalypse that has hit Buffalo, New York. So today I'm going to be doing another very short video. Another very short Photoshop video. A while ago, I received a question from someone. They were asking me how to create a pencil sketch from a photograph. And they actually did this video five or six years ago. So I referred them to that video, but of course, that video was done with an older version of Photoshop, so I've been meaning to update the video with the latest version of Photoshop. That's what we're going to be doing today. Also, at the end, I'll add a little twist to it. If you don't like your results, you could try this little thing I'm going to show you, and you'll get slightly different results. Now, as you can see, I have an image opened up into Photoshop. We have the background layer. What we need to do is duplicate that background layer. Hit Command-J on a Mac or Control-J on a PC to duplicate that layer. Now we want to convert the image to black and white. We're going to use a black and white adjustment layer for that. So up here in my adjustment layers, you can see that one right there is black and white. Click on that. Convert it to black and white. That's all you have to do. You don't have to move any sliders. Don't worry about the black and white mix at all. Just convert it to black and white with a black and white adjustment layer like we just did. Now, go down to this middle layer again and make that active by clicking on it. What we need to do is invert this layer. Hit Command or Control I for that. So we have an inverted middle layer. Now we're going to change the blend mode of that layer. Go up here to this drop down. We're going to change the blend mode to color dodge. And you can see when I did that, we have a totally white screen. You may or may not have a totally white screen when you do it with your image. Don't worry if a little black is coming through. What we're going to be doing will still work. So we're still on that middle layer that has been inverted and the uh, blend mode has been changed to color dodge. We're still on that layer. Now what we want to do is add some blur to it, specifically Gaussian blur. Go up to filter, down to blur, and over to Gaussian blur. You can see as soon as I added that blur with a radius of 3.4 pixels, it's starting to look like a pencil sketch. And to make it a little darker, just move the radius slider to the right. You can see as I move it to the right, it's getting darker and darker. So you can move this radius slider around, and if you like the results you get, you're done. Just click OK, and you're done. Now, there's a chance you may not like the results you get. It may go, it's not really dark enough there. And when I start to move it up, it's getting to look too much like a photograph again, right? Not like a pencil sketch. So if that's the case, what you could do is use a relatively low radius, like something, let's say, around 3 for this image. It will vary depending upon your image. Let's say around 3 pixels. And you can see it looks like a pencil sketch, but it's really very faded. It's not dark enough. So what you could do is click OK here. So we have this. Now click on that top layer. And what you want to do now is you want to put a stamp layer on top of all these layers. Now to do that, there's a multi-key keyboard shortcut. Uh, on a Mac, it's Shift, Option, Command, E, and you'll get that stamp layer on top. On a PC, it's Shift, Alt, Control, E, and you'll get that stamp layer. Now, we want to change the blend mode of this stamp layer to Multiply. You can see it got a little dark. Now to get it even darker, duplicate this stamp layer by hitting Command or Control J. Just keep hitting Command or Control J and keep darkening that layer. And I'm just going to keep hitting it multiple times. Just keep hitting it till you get a layer or get a look that you like. I kind of like that look. But you look <laughs> over here, I have all these duplicated layers. What you could do just to make this a little more manageable over here on your layers panel is click on the top one, make that active. Hold the shift key down and click on the last one, which happens to be that layer two. That was that first um, stamp layer I put on here. And then hit Command or Control E, and that will just flatten all those layers into one layer. That's it. That's something else you could try, just in case you didn't really like the pencil sketch you got, um, just by moving the radius slider on the Gaussian blur filter. Um, but if you did. If you move that radius slider on the Gaussian blur filter and it looked great, you could end there. You don't have to do this uh, stamp layer on top and then hitting Command or Control J numerous times to get what you want. So that's it. That's how you create a pencil sketch in Photoshop. 
Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.